Hola familia, my name is Ray Omero, as you know, and uh, today I decided to uh, just postpone my original plan for my devotional today and take this time to honor two people that I love and my family loves, and um, that is Steve and Ruth Baylor. And I had few opportunities in the past to just come up and say, things that I will say today. I just, I don't know why I didn't take it, but today's the day. So, uh, I know the Baylors for quite a while, 14 years. And probably I got to get to know Steve better, or actually Steve got to know me better because I used to come to Bible study every Wednesday and he was always there for prayer with Bob Newberry and um, he prayed for me and for my family for years and years but specifically one of the things that I remember the most about Steve was that he prayed for me and for my uh, Mauricio for two years continually every week for his salvation so when Mauricio came to Christ it was just an amazing time to rejoice because we saw the fruits of all that prayer that we done together with my church family uh, for that month, for that long. Ruth and Steve, they have seen our children grow and uh, just accomplish things within the church and outside the church. They've always been a great support for me, for my husband, for my children. And as I was listening to Steve yesterday um, during service, um, well, I was watching from home, but it was just such an amazing message in what the church should be, what the church is for him and what it church, that church is for us believers. So if you haven't seen, if you were not here yesterday and you haven't seen it on the YouTube channel, just go to Calvary Chapel Hemet. Uh, channel on YouTube and watch it it's just really it, it's a good thing to do it's you're gonna learn a lot and, and you're gonna be reminded of so many things that they should be important to us if they are not already so Ruth it's been always there for me for my girls uh, in every milestone they have accomplished, she, so, she always shows up with a card, with a little gift, with a little uh, reminder of that they're loved, they're appreciated, and they're celebrated for what they've done. And that always have a very special place in my heart. And I realize that every time I see, and, and I say this with the utmost respect and humbleness, uh, towards all the leaders here in church but every time that I see Steve Steve available for prayer there I, I kind of had the tendency to go to him and pray with him why because he knows us he knows our family he knows all the dirt <laughs> and he knows all the good things and the reason why he knows is because of prayer as he mentioned it yesterday, you know, he has walked with us uh, through so many prayers, through so many ups and downs, and um, and it's just easy, you know, because you know there will be no judgment, no, no that I've been judged before. I, I, this is just about them. So forgive me if I'm not just saying it the right way, but um, it's just that family familiar thing that it's easier to open up to someone who knows you and who knows what the struggles of your family and he has been there for us from the beginning and help us to walk through our journey here at church as a community as a family so of course talking about what he spoke yesterday during service and trying to honor them as they are preparing to leave to Tennessee this week. After so many years here in this church, he said it yesterday, 27 years for Ruth and Steve. 
um, it's just uh, bittersweet but also it's a good reminder that we will always be connected through this special bond that we have which is God and it's, it's just so powerful and and he's a great reminder of God's love same as Ruth I had the privilege to be there for the um, funeral service for uh, Steve's uh, dad and it was just so revealing and so inspiring about what a Christian life and, and a life of a person and a legacy we can leave behind so other people can benefit from it and I never met him Steve dad that is but um but it was just so inspiring I was there also for Ruth's uh, mom's funeral same feeling so it's just been all these amazing things that we have shared together. And Ruth and Steve, I, we love you. And we really will continue to pray for you for this new season in your life. And, and as I, I was like remembering all the times together, of course, this scripture came to mind. A very familiar one is Proverbs 27, 17 as iron sharper the iron as i'm sorry as iron sharper sharper iron i have a problem with that word so as iron sharpens iron so one man sharpens another and if you're new to this congregation to this church if you're here but you're isolated because you don't know how to become part of the community i will encourage you to just come forward usually elders and people like Ruth and Steve will come around and will spot you and go to you and and try to talk to you and make you what make you feel welcome and uh, these are the kind of friendships and the kind of fellowship that you are missing if you're not part of this con congregation if you're not plugged in this is a very good one um, I've been here for 14 years and as I was listening to Steve yesterday saying that we have to share um, our, uh, our conversion, our story, um, the way God has saved us. I realized that they are a big part of my story, a big part of my testimony and my family's testimony. So these are the things that you can build together here in fellowship, in Calvary Chapel Hemet and in any other church. If you really want to be part of it, you you know you will be well received, you will be welcome, you will be loved, and you will have opportunities to sharpen somebody else's life just the way people like the Baylors have sharpened sharpened mine and many many others. So this is an encouragement encourage, encouragement for you guys to just be part of this group of. Uh, believers here or sinners in Calvary Chapel Hammond and just uh, build up each other's together and this is my little goodbye for Steve and Ruth so let me close in prayer Father in heaven Lord I thank you for the gift of fellowship and friendship Lord for all the words in the Bible that motivate us and instruct us to find other people like-minded like us so we can build uh, community together Lord we can go and just share your word and build a testimony that is uh, full with all these memories of people that we love and and people that have invested in us in our lives and we are invested in them so Lord I just pray for the Baylors as you see them go for you to go before them Lord in every day of this week and in this new season in their life as well as others that they're in the same situation right now Lord I love you, and it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. So thank you.